hello there welcome to another talk and uh, this talk is called <clears throat> excuse me is a, is a spiritual awakening a soul switch soul walk-in now as I always say if you're new to uh, my website in, uh, this talk on YouTube then I was, I'm someone that had an unexpected spiritual awakening at the age of 24 because I had enough and uh, I'm 34 on my birthday. Now, my own mother has said many times that she doesn't believe that this is, this is Sean. She believes that in the spiritual awakening it was actually a soul switch. Now, I'll tell you what happened in the awakening, the first awakening, I get awakens all the time, never since. I sat down one day and had enough. Had enough. And that was the that was when I had the awakening. If you hear squeaking, that's kittens. We've got kittens now. And uh, one of the cats is quite noisy when she talks to them. If you hear that. But yeah, I, yeah, I sat up and had enough. And at that moment, I felt different. My mindset had changed. I knew that I was going to change myself. I was a lot more positive. Everything changed in that moment, and that's when I started going through the awakening. Now, if there was two souls um, switching, you can't have a body without a soul, because it would have no life force, therefore it would die. <clears throat> so what... You know, if it's a soul switch kind of thing, which I was on a website the day saying is a spiritual awakening a soul switch, so other people are saying it. If it was a soul switch, the two souls would have to meet at some point and the new soul would, would have become the Sean and therefore it would have all the memories, It would it would, but it would have its own unique um, uh, personality as well. So, but even my mum thinks this happened. Eh... Uh, and so, you know, I've started a page of the day on my website dedicated to this particular subject. Because it's very interesting as well. People are very interested in it. What I believe happened, I'm not saying people should believe or shouldn't believe in soul switching. But I feel that I know what happened. I feel that what happened uh, is, you've, uh, Jane Van Prague says, only a tiny piece of your soul is here. Now, I believe what happened is I believe the higher part came, imagine, down from heaven, uh, came from the astral world, <clears throat> and became connected to this little fragment piece of my soul. And I think after that it was an alignment process, and that's why it felt different. That's my own theory on it. But as I say, if people want to believe that, then they can. And a lot of people are saying some are saying that 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 are these people that have the big spiritual awakenings actually having a soul switch and uh, it is interesting when when your own mum says that and she thinks that the person that was replaced was replaced by she's in her words a more advanced soul and my mum's uh, been on tv with uh palmistry and psychic stuff and you know, she was done psychic stuff when she was younger and that. And and that's what she believes. That the soul was replaced. Because Sean, up to the age of 24, that's when I had the awakening. You know, I was a ve Sean was a very depressed person. And I did have this theory before that maybe, you know, before Sean came here, he only had a certain amount of time. Uh, like 24 years and then... But this... There's other stories of that. Uh, there's a there's a guy called what's his name? Uh, Al Bielik. He was in the Montauk Project, and he had a brother. And it's a long story, but what what apparently happened was the brother couldn't be born at a certain time, so there had to be a soul switching operation. And so this does happen, you know. But what a lot of people think of as the soul, according to James Van Prague and other mediums as well, it's only a little piece 
of your soul. That's you. A lot of people think that a person is a soul. So what actually happened to me was not a soul switch, in my opinion, was, like I said earlier, was just the high, just the, the higher fragment piece connecting with the lower fragment piece. And then the lower fragment piece then aligning. Because when you think of, when you look at the bigger picture, you can't actually have a soul switch. Because when you look at the bigger picture, there, there is no duality. There is no separation. There is no two. Right? There is only one soul, actually. Because all souls are matrix replicas of the same soul that came from the one source. Which is just nothingness. And that's why everything seems so vast, because nothingness means that everything's been done an infinite number of times, because nothingness is, is infinity, all of infinity. So it means that there isn't two, there can't be two souls, you see? But you can have an illusion of that or a dream of that, but it's not real because nothingness can, can't ever be real. Like I was, I was saying to my mum earlier today that... Uh, that, you know, nothing is really real. Because if everything comes from nothing... This is what I started to perceive in the on, in this spiritual awakening. I started to... At first time I'd done meditation, I started to think of nothing. Just think of nothing. I started to perceive that nothing is the core of all things. And then a few years after that, I discovered Buddhism. And, and I realised that what was going through me, going, happening to me, was actually in Buddhism also. Because I was terrified. I thought... People would think I'm crazy. And then I reached the point where I just didn't care if people think I'm crazy because I realised that, that it's actually the sheeple that are crazy. Everything comes from the top and is handed down to the sheeple and, and this is what the awakening showed me. One of the things. And uh, so then you realise, well, actually, I'm not crazy. It's you that's crazy. You know? If someone calls you you mad then it's actually them that's the mad one. Whatever someone calls you is... I mean, we can only judge a person based on how we judge ourselves within ourselves. So that's why I don't take it personally if someone... And you shouldn't take it personally if someone says something mean to you because that's a reflection of them. Another thing I became aware of, then I discovered it, this was called shadow work. So a lot of stuff I was going through, a breathing exercise I started to develop, started to do the breathing exercise, then I discovered it years later, it's actually in Kundalini Yoga. But what was happening to me was an organic, natural, spiritual awakening, which anyone can have, you know. And But yeah, there are, there is this theory that... that and, and that's why I, I built a page on my website regarding soul switching because it is interesting and I'm not wanting to take away people's belief. Uh, you know, but I've went through this experience myself. I'm not just believing something, I've went through the experience. And that's the conclusion I've come to, that not a soul switch, if you want to believe that, it's fine. Believe what you want. Just don't impose it on others. You no, know, but what I believe happened was the higher fragment piece of my soul connected because you don't, your soul isn't a person. Your soul is a journey of aligning with the source. That's what the true soul is. Like I said before, there's only one soul. And everything else is just matrix replicas designed by Gaia. And Gaia is this female force that came from nothingness. Everything has to come from nothing. That's why nothing really exists, really. You know? It's just a dream. It can only ever be a dream if nothingness is the core of all existence. So that's why you can't really have a soul switch. You can have an illusion of separation, illusion of, of two, but it's it's really just one. One nothing. That's what oneness means. It means it's one nothing. But I'm just going to leave it there. And uh, for latest updates and talks and news and research, please do visit my website at www.lovelikefamily.com. Thank you.